today I'm going to show you how to play mods on any Wii U game. And this will work for digital and disc games. Disclaimer before we get started, this is not a video on how to get the games for free, you must own a copy of the game before following this guide. This video is for educational purposes only and Nintendo is the best company in the world. Play. Now for this video specifically, I'll be modding three different games, New Super Mario Bros U, Super Smash Bros Wii U, and Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. But this method will work for literally any Wii U game. The way we're going to do this is by using the SD Caffeine plugin for the Aroma custom firmware. So if you do not have Aroma custom firmware, you'll have to set that up. So go ahead and click the link in the description or in the top right to head over to my Aroma upgrade video. Now if you're coming from the last video, we did use SD Caffeine to set up custom Wii U themes. So in your case, all you have to do is download the mods and set the files up just like we did for the Wii U themes. You are two steps ahead already. But anyways, let's get started. So in the description, I will have four different links. We're going to start off with the SD Caffeine plugin link. Again, if you already have this, you can skip this part. But if you do not have SD Caffeine set up, go to this page and click on the SD Caffeine zip. It'll download and then we can close that tab and next up is getting our mod so as you can see I have three different websites for three different games this one you can get pretty well any new Super Mario Bros U hack now normally you can just search them on game banana but this puts them all in one spot very easy to navigate on this screen it has the top three newest mods so if you see one you like you can click download but if you go to the home and scroll all the way below the change log you can have a list this is hacks by Rimia hacks by Jerry Tendo and so on. There's literally so many that you can try out. So you can search through them and pick the one you want. I'm going to pick this mod so just click download. It'll take you to this page and just click download here and see it takes us to Game Banana. So that whole page we were on before is just to navigate and find the mods you want, the completed mods. So now we are on the actual download page. Here, there is two different files. There's an old version and a new version. I'm just gonna pick the new version. Just click on it. It's taking us to a Google Drive page and we can click download for the zip. Download anyway because it's too large to scan and we are good. We can exit that, go back to the home. And to show you, you can have more than one mod on your SD card for the same game at the same time. I'm gonna download another one. Rymia is a very well-known modder in the Nintendo community and Cloudy Super Mario Bros. 2 was one of the biggest ones. So I'm gonna get that one as well. Take you to this page, click download and it'll take you to a Google Drive. So not every link is the same and some of them do have text documents. So if we open up this text document, it's just telling you which one to download. We are on the Wii U, so we're gonna pick the console edition. I'm gonna exit that. And if you just hover, there we go, it says console edition. So I'm gonna click on it and then click download. Can't scan for viruses, but it's all good. Just click download anyway, and it'll download. We can exit there. And if you wanna grab any more mods, you can, but that's it for NSMBU for me. So I'm gonna close that one. Now we're gonna move on to Mario Kart 8. I have linked a Mario Kart 8 Ultimate mod pack. Now this is by Mika Dubs and it's one of the most popular ones so we're going to get it as well. But again you can go on Game Banana and search different mod packs. So I'm going to scroll down to where it says download Mario Kart 8 Ultimate Alpha and it automatically downloaded. Perfect we can exit there and for Smash Bros on the Wii U I have this Game Banana page linked directly to the Smash U page for mod packs. So you can scroll through these and see which one you want. And to make it a little easier to find the good ones you can filter it to the most downloaded. So now we have the most downloaded pack at the top. So let's get it. Ultimate Smash 4 modding pack. Click on it and then we just scroll down. You can read up on it, you can see the previews and all of that sort of stuff, but we're going to scroll down and grab the download. So here's the downloads. There is three different versions for US and EU, so it is good to know your region before adding mods to your system. We're going to grab the Wi-Fi safe version, which this probably means there is only skin mods that are allowed online. It won't give you any sort of advantage. So let's click on it. Taking us to a Google Drive file, let's download it, download anyway. It's a pretty big file, 5.6 gigabytes. So it may take a little bit, but my mods are all downloading. I'm gonna exit these and we will save this title database page for the SD card setup. 
So let's open up the SD card we used to mod our Wii U. So my downloads are on the left and my SD card is on the right. And I did set up custom themes on this SD card, but I deleted everything just so we can do it all from scratch for anyone that does not have SD caffeine already set up. So let's get started with the setup. Open up the SD caffeine zip file. You will need WinRAR or 7-zip to extract this. But now on your SD card, go into Wii U, Environments, Aroma, Plugins, and here is where your plugins go. So just grab sdcaffeine.wps and place it inside. Let's head back to the root of the SD card. We can delete the SD caffeine zip file. And now it's time to set up our mods. So let's go into Wii U. And now we're going to create a new folder. So right click, hit new folder and just call it SDCAFINE. SD caffeine, all lowercase, and we are good. Go inside, and here is where we're gonna place our title ID. So now, in the description on the last link for the title ID website, open it up, and it should take you all the way to the title database. We're gonna start off with Super Mario Bros. U. So in order to find, there is so many, like it, you could scroll for a long time. So just hit Control F, and we can search it. So Super Mario, and there we go, that's the first one. You can type the whole name, but if you find it right away, you're good to go. Make sure you get the regular new Super Mario Bros. U because the version with new Super Luigi U is a different title ID. So on the right side, the second last column is the region. So there is two regions. I am North American, so I'm gonna do USA. And this number right here, this is what we want. So just highlight it, copy it, and let's head back to our SD card. And in that same SD caffeine folder, we're gonna create a new folder again and paste it inside. But before you finalize it, just go to the dash and take it away so that there's only numbers and letters. Perfect, that is our title ID ready to go for Super Mario Bros U. So let's set up the mod. So back to my downloads. So let's start off with Cloudy Super Mario Bros U. So we'll open up the zip file and each mod, there is gonna be different files in each zip file that you open. So if you do get confused, you can always open up the text file that's usually corresponding with it. It tells you how to install it and all that sort of stuff. But we're gonna look for the content folder. So let's open up the Cloudy SMBU2 folder and here is the content. If you are going to be doing just one mod, you can grab the content folder and drag it inside of the title ID that we created earlier. It might take a little bit. And after a little bit of waiting, it is transferred on. If we go into the title ID folder, there it is, content. But this is where it gets tricky if you want more than one mod. Well, it's not tricky, but we just have to take an extra step. But essentially, the content folder is the most important for the mod to work. So now that we have that in there, we can exit the zip file and I'm gonna delete it off my computer. Now, before we add another mod, I'm gonna create a folder inside of here and call it Cloudy SMBU, just the name of the mod. And we're gonna grab the content folder and put it inside. This will allow us to have multiple different folders with different mods inside. And on our Wii U, we'll be able to select which one we wanna play. So let's get the Flores Lava on here. Let's open up the zip file. And this one is a little bit more tricky uh, if we go inside the SMBU Floors Lava, we have no content folder. So let's go back, we'll read the readme text. And as you can see, it says put all the files in content and then common. So we have to create those folders ourselves. Kind of sucks when we have to do this. It's pretty easy for the creators to put them all in the correct folders for us, but sometimes this is how it is. So if we go inside the Floors Lava, we need to put all of these three in a common folder and then a content folder. Over in the SD card, we're gonna create a common folder. We will highlight all three of these in the pack and place them inside. And there we go, it's inside. Now, just to show you, let's go into the Cloudy SMBU2 folders, go into content, and as you can see, there's a common folder. And that has the similar files, course res pack, course select, etc. That's sort of just how the mods are set up. We just had to make the common folder ourselves. And now, we are going to make a new folder, create a content folder, place the common folder inside, and lastly, we will make the floor is lava and place that content folder inside and now that mod is set up 
So again, it's important to know that not every mod has the same download steps, but as long as it looks like this, we have our title ID for a single game and we have our folders with the mod name. We have our content inside of there. So we can close this zip file. I'm gonna delete it from my SD card. <laughs> I'm downloading my streams right now so they just popped up in there. SMBU is totally set up and ready to go. So let's set up Mario Kart 8 now. Let's go back. We need to head back to the title database. I'm gonna change this to Mario Kart 8. I'm gonna grab the USA version for North America, highlight the title ID, copy it, create a new folder and paste. Take away the dash in the middle and now we have a folder for Mario Kart 8 mods. Go inside and let's open up the Mario Kart 8 ultimate zip file. Now this one is a little bit different but if we go do some digging, if we go into MK8 U loader, go into volume, we can go inside and there is our content folder. I'm just going to create MK8 ultimate. Now this step isn't really necessary if you're only gonna have a single mod pack for one game, uh, but you can still do it as well. It makes it easier. But let's grab the content folder and put it inside. Boom, just like that it's on. Wow, <laughs> it took five minutes. But once it's on there, we can exit that. We can delete the zip file. And lastly, I'm gonna quickly get Smash set up. Go to the title base, type in Smash. Boom, Super Smash Bros Wii U, USA, title ID. I think you guys get the process by now. But you can do this for literally any game that you can find a mod for. Let's open this one up. Wi-Fi safe. Let's go inside here. This one has previews, but it also has the SD card files. It already has an SD caffeine file. Some of them come with the actual plugin or app. Uh, so that used to use, you can tell this mod is old because there's Lodine, nobody uses that anymore, and SD caffeine. SD Caffeine was an app on Tiramisu, but on Aroma, it is a plugin. So make sure you don't grab the Wii U folder. We already got everything we need. So let's go into SD Caffeine. There's the title ID. I'm just gonna go inside and I'm just gonna grab this one. This has the content. So grab it and drag it on. And there we go. That was a really big one. Took like 20 minutes, honestly, but we're gonna delete this. Those are my streams. Remember, if you want to play Mario Kart Wii online, I stream every weekend, so subscribe and hit the bell and join us. But now that we have that in, I'm going to close my downloads and just a summary. Here is what the SD file layout should look like. So there we go. We are ready to head over onto the Wii U and make sure that the games work, along with showing you how to use SD Caffeine and the plugin menu. So let's head over there and plug in our SD card to our Wii U. Once you're on your Wii U, make sure you're running your Aroma custom firmware. And we're gonna start off by going into the SD Caffeine plugin menu. So on your gamepad, hold left bumper down on the D-pad and select, and it'll bring up the plugin system menu. As you can see, we've got SD Caffeine at the top, just press A on it, and here we can change the settings. So go inside the settings. It should already have enabled SD Caffeine true, but if not, just change it to true. We'll press B and go back. And the advanced settings give you a couple different options. So you can have it so it auto applies the mod pack if only one mod pack exists. So whether you have a folder with the mod pack name or just the content folder, you can have it auto apply the mod pack when you run the game. Otherwise, you can change it to false. And then it will bring up the screen to select it. So just pick what you want. I'm going to leave it on true. And then the second one is skip preparing mod pack screen. I'm going to leave this on false so that you can see what it actually is. So if you ever want to change it so it skips this page that you'll see in a little bit, just come back here and change it to true. So once you have everything set up as you'd like, press B, B again, and then the home button to exit. We're back on the menu, so let's go open up the games. So since I have two different mods for New Super Mario Bros. U, I'm going to select it and then show you the menu that will come up. So it'll run the game and then switch to the SD Caffeine menu. So we have a couple different options. We can press A to launch a mod pack or press B to launch it without a mod pack. So you can still play the vanilla game. So using the gamepad, you can select it, but you can also use the Wii mode as well. So here, because we have those folders with the mod pack names, we can select which one we want to play. So let's do Cloudy SMBU 2. Press A on it and then it'll run the mod. Remember, no piracy, guys. <laughs> And here it is, Cloudy Super Mario Bros. U 2. Just like that, we are into the mod. So now that you know how it works when you have two or more mod packs in your SD Caffeine folder for one game, let's load up Super Smash Bros. and I'll show you how it works when you have one. So it'll load up the game, 
And then because we have auto run when it's one mod, we'll see this screen. It gives you an option to press minus to open up that menu. Otherwise, you can go back into the plugin menu and change the advanced settings so that that screen does not show up and it just automatically loads the mod. Boom, there we go, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Smash 4 modding pack. And lastly, let's go check out Mario Kart 8 Ultimate. And if you get ready, you can press minus when the SD caffeine screen pops up. If you press minus, it will allow you to start it in vanilla version because it gives you this menu again. And you can select the mod. And here it is. Now I would suggest getting a 100% save file for these games that you load because then that will unlock the full ability of the mod itself. So if you're interested in getting a 100% save file, check the description for a video on how to do that. But essentially, that is all you need to know about setting up mods on your Wii U for any game you want. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to leave a like. It really helps the channel out and comment down below which mod you were playing. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding.